Now, folks, no matter how the Bidens may try to play it, the Blinken talks with China were another disastrous setback for the U.S. Secretary of State Blinken. Remember him? He was the one who quarterbacked the phony gang of 51 group of senior intel people who swore up and down that the Hunter Biden laptop was really a Russian disinformation operation. That's right. The very same Blinken who pulled that off to save Joe Biden in the second campaign debate in 2020 with Donald Trump. That's the very same Blinken who was really nothing more than a third-string political operative for Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and then Joe Biden. That's right. That's the Blinken who couldn't even get a U.S.-China military communications channel from Chinese President Xi Jinping. A headline today sums it up. Beijing brush off Nix's U.S. military channel. And there's another headline. Blinken blinks on Taiwan independence. That's right. In China, no less, Blinken was unable to stand up for Taiwanese freedom. No one's asking him to break the so-called One China policy, although I happen to think it's a lousy policy. But he could have said something about preserving Taiwanese freedom, couldn't he? Just say it. So a U.S. representative would have said it. Nancy Pelosi said it. Kevin McCarthy said it. A gaggle of Republican and Democratic lawmakers have said it, but Blinken, this third-string dirty tricks operative, he couldn't say it. And then there's another headline. China seeks site in Cuba for joint training. That's on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. Well, wait a minute. Didn't Blinken deny that there were Chinese operators in Cuba just a couple days ago? It was the very same Blinken. Didn't Biden's spokesperson, John Kirby, also deny it? Oh, it's much worse than just a spying site. It's now a joint military operation in Cuba, 90 miles from the U.S. Or a New York Sun article. How about this? While America sleeps, communist China builds influence in the Caribbean. Ten Caribbean nations signed up for China's Belt and Road Initiative. Besides Cuba, you've got Grenada, Jamaica, the Dominican Republic, Barbados, and a bunch of others. Roads, ports, energy, telecom systems. These Caribbean nations depend on Beijing patronage. Then there's the continuing saga that Joe Biden brushes off the Chinese spy balloon over the U.S. He's saying the Chinese leaders didn't really know about it. Really? President Biden never told us who, who knew about it. But it could have been a Chinese leaders. Could have been any of the Chinese leaders, right? Wrong. They knew about it. Then, of course, the Chinese defense minister refused to meet with our own secretary of defense. And then, of course, there was no discussion of the origins of COVID which by now everyone knows was in Wuhan, China, which killed 1.1 million Americans, and Lord knows how many other people in the rest of the world, including China itself. And then, of course, China deepened to Iran, fomenting nothing but mischief throughout the Middle East. But wait a minute, is this the same Iran that the Bidens are now poised to yet again go back into deal mode, providing them with roughly $7 billion of financial assistance? Another foreign policy triumph for the Bidens. The trouble with the Biden story is they don't know their friends from their enemies. You know, even Jimmy Carter figured out his last 18 months that Soviet communism was a bad idea. The Bidens believe China is some kind of friendly competitor, you know, like France or Germany. If only we'd have better communication or perhaps we can sit down and reason together. The fact is, under Joe Biden, the Chinese and their communist government is running wild throughout the globe, and they are our hammer and tongs, life or death adversaries. They are totalitarians. They seek to dominate us. Wherever they go, they stomp out freedom and democracy. Technological weaponry, financial weaponry, cyber weaponry, heck, even balloon weaponry. I can't wait for American voters to put a stop to all this appeasement. Please save America. End this craziness.